then this here will actually be part of four art walks here in the downtown Ontario area and being that this is our first of the year I wanted to go ahead and explain a little bit of what it is and what goes on during this art walk so the first question is what is the Ontario Art Walk? So the Ontario Art Walk is an art walk that is held quarterly here in the downtown arts district and that's actually where I am that happens to be and being that we're here and this is our location we are actually part of that art walk. A total of four go on throughout the year. The first is in February, the second would be in May, the third is held in August and the last one would be held in November. And so at the art walk, it's just really dope. It's cool because the storefronts and the businesses that are here in the arts district open up their doors. You're able to meet the business owners. You're able to see what their location looks like. And the next thing would be that part of the arts district invites outside vendors as well. It's just a dope concept. Now that we are part of this awesome location, I feel like bringing more awareness and letting people know and inviting them, it's really, really dope because then we can kind of help get the word out there and then have a little bit more foot traffic so that people can see where our businesses are located. Just kind of put this place on the map. So the next thing would be, what is the cost? The art walk is actually completely free to enter. There is no entrance fee and all ages are welcome as well. So it is family oriented if you wanted to bring your family. It's child friendly as well and like you can make it like a family outing. And every single art walk is held on a Saturday so it is on a weekend which is a lot more convenient for a lot of you to come on by. Parking is also free as well. I feel like there's more than enough parking here. So what can you expect at the art walk? You could expect a lot of dope businesses and services. I mean, that's like the main way that I could go ahead and explain it. Not only between the businesses that are actually established here, but the outside vendors as well. It's really cool. I feel like the coordinator of the art walk does a very great job of bringing in good vendors who are able to provide like great, like creative, like unique goods so you're able to expect just a good ambiance because they also invite local bands to perform they all have different set times and it's really really cool because i feel like it gives them the opportunity to also perform their craft and it's not only limited to businesses but it's also very geared towards artists the most important question is there food at the art walk the answer is yes, and I feel like there's a variety of food. So the first thing is, another type of vendor that they bring in are food vendors. So the food vendors are always various the type of food that they carry and that they provide and that they sell. But I can say this is that starting last Art Walk, which was November of 2019, we were able to experience a vegan food vendor which is super dope because I feel like it caters to everyone across the board and the other thing that I wanted to mention is for example speaking for Iron Threads we actually strive to provide like light snacks like we call bites and then we also like provide drinks you know that are just tastings nothing big you know sorry but nothing big you know they're just like simple tastings and stuff and I want to say that depending on what other businesses you walk into, I believe some of them also um, like kindly provide um, like complimentary snacks while you're walking around. The reason why you should attend the Ontario Art Walk is because you are able to personally meet the business owners who are establishing their business here in the heart of Ontario in the Arts District and it just gives you a little bit more sense of like who the person really is, why they're so passionate about what they're doing. Personally, I feel like every single one of my neighbors, like they're just so dope and it's, you know, it's really cool. I would really recommend for you to like, if you can, for you to step out and attend so that you can get to meet them. It gives you a sense of what's going on what other type of small businesses you can support rather than like corporate type um, big business um, not that there's anything wrong with that but when you support a small business I feel like you are truly supporting a dream that little support that you may get goes a long way 
I can definitely speak highly of every single person that will be participating this time around in the art walk. So starting with my neighbors who are on this side, there is Epic Battle Lab, really, really sick. They recently just had their grand opening. If you have a chance when you attend the art walk, step in there and um, check out their business. I would highly recommend it. They're facility is so sick, so dope. They've invested so much time and dedication to their craft and you can definitely see it. And a really cool thing is that they actually have a bar and a restaurant there as well. So you gotta check that out. Next over here, like on the same line where we're at is um, Lebec Makeup Academy really cool you should definitely check them out then next door i do have my neighbor tbh hair as well and then over here i do have um, the lock barber shop next to them i have mi casa vegana which is amazing vegan baked goods my personal favorite are the cupcakes and then next to them we have joanne oh my gosh i love joanne personally like shout out to my girl she's so amazing she's a makeup artist and she will hook you up with some amazing makeup looks Next to them we have One Up Arcade. Our new neighbors who just recently moved in, Geometrics. Shout out to them. They're doing so amazing and I cannot wait for them to get their yoga classes started. And in collaboration with them, there is a vegan food vendor this time around and Smoke Duality will be here. So be sure to check them out. So that's pretty much it for everything that I was going to address. I thank you guys so much for tuning in and taking time to listen about our upcoming art walk. Remember, if you are not able to attend this specific art walk, it's okay. We will definitely have three more that you can choose from throughout the year. So thank you guys so much for tuning in and I hope to see you here.